A very good afternoon to everyone, and welcome back to another session on digital signature certificate. So this is one of our series session in GST portals. Today's session will be taken by Sri Nirmal Kumar. He is a senior vice president, software development, and uh, I hope this is going to be a and thrilling and exciting session. Before we hand over to, over to the presenter, some ground rules. If you have any question, refrain from asking in the chat box. There is a question and answer section where you can always raise a question. All the questions we will try to pick up during the session only. Anything which is left unanswered, we will answer them back on our KMS portal. That's kms.nagd.in. The session, the session is also, is also live telecasted on the YouTube. So if you are unable to join the session or one of your friend is unable to join it, you can always refer back to Digital India Learning YouTube portal. Not taking much of your time, I will hand it over to Srinivasan. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Dharmal Kumar, Senior Vice President of Software Development. And we'll be talking about the registration registering and the using of digital signature certificate at the GST portal. Uh, the first and the foremost question that arises, why do we need a digital signature certificate at the GST portal? It is mandated in registration and the return rules that when a taxpayer files his compliance or comes to the GST portal to himself, he is he mandated, is mandated is a digital signature. So in view of that, I'll be explaining to you or helping you with what are the details of the digital signatures, what are the requirements to register a digital signature, how do you go to the GST portal to register a digital signature, how do you update the update? What are the, what are the components, components of the signatures? And in case, in case issues at the GST the portal, portal, how do you, you troubleshoot to fix the digital signatures? Signature. The, the first, first and foremost uh, question, uh, question that comes to a tax mind, mind, what, what is, is a digital, digital signature? signature? A digital a signature is like a handwritten signature, signature which establishes the identity of the sender. When, when you file this compliance, compliance document, like physical documents, documents are signed manually, manually electronic, electronic documents, documents, for example, e-forms, e -forms, e -forms, are required to be signed digitally, digitally through a digital, digital signature, signature certificate. certificate. What, what are the types of digital signatures, signatures like? like? What, what are, are the types of digital signatures or certificates available, available in the market? market? And, and what, what is this type of digital signature that he can purchase? To, to, fit, fit, to apply, apply the digital signature on the GST portal. portal. The digital, the digital signature certificates are essentially of four, four types. You have you class, class one that is available in the market, market. Class, class two. Okay. Essentially, it's like if you look at it, sorry for the interruption. It seems there's a lot of echo in the sound system. We will take a minute over here just to fix it. Please bear with us. Can you disconnect it? Is the voice always okay now? Mute only. It's mute. Can you Thank <laughs> you. 
We have just fixed the sound problem, so just want to know whether it's okay for all or not. Thank you. We will be starting here. We'll start again. Okay. okay. Start again. Okay. So th this is Nirbal Kumar, Senior Vice President of Software Development. And I'll be talking about the registration and the use of digital signature certificate at the GSD. I would, I would like, like to thank C. Pankaj Aroda and Rajiv Agralji for giving me this opportunity to talk about the use of the digital signature certificate at the, at the GST portal. I'll be talking about what is a digital signature? Why do you need the digital signature as the GST portal? How do you go about registering a digital signature certificate or updating a digital signature certificate at the GST portal? What are the various components of an EM signer or the digital signature certificate? How do you troubleshoot the digital signature certificate issues when you try to sign an application at the GST portal? Now the question is, what is a digital signature certificate? A digital signature certificate is equivalent of a handwritten signature which establishes the identity of the sender filing the documents. Like physical documents are signed manually, electronic documents, for example, e-forms are required to be signed digitally. Let me give you an example. A digital signature certificate is more secure than a normal signature because in, when you sign the electronic forms manually, the, the data that a digital signature certificate and on on gst portal it has been mandated by the registration and return rules that you need a digital signature certificate to go and sign at the compliance registration forms or the return forms that you will be filling now the question arises is what are the types of digital signature certificate the taxpayer has to purchase in order to meet his compliance requirements at the GST portal. There are various kinds of digital signatures that is available in the market. So each class of digital signature certificate is associated with a specific security feature and corresponds to a specific level of trust. There are four classes of certificates which the certifying authorities may issue, have issued. The class one certificate is issued merely on the position of an email ID or a mobile number. And that is used for in signing of encryption or signing of public documents. The class two certificate, which is used for both personal and business purposes. And the class three certificate that is issued to individuals and is considered to be more sec secure as the person has to himself go and appear before the CA before he is issued a class three DAC. Now we have come up with the, the, another type of certificate that is called the Aadhaar EKYC or the OTP or the biometric certificate. Aadhaar OTP class of certificate shall be issued to individuals, you, individuals use based on OTP authentication or subscriber through Aadhaar EKYC. So on the GST portal, you have to go and procure a class two or a class three pan based digital signature. Now the question comes is how do you go and where do you go and purchase the digital signature? You have to go from and procure the digital signatures from one of the certifying authorities who issues the digital signature certificate. Certifying authority means a person who has been granted a license to issue a digital signature certificate under the section 20. Mm -hmm. 
signature certificates so you should go to the cca website that is the controller of certifying authorities and look at the website and which will list down all the vendors who sells the digital signature certificates there are certain prerequisites of there are certain prerequisites of dsc security you should keep the media carrying the digital signature certificate signature safely and do not disclose your password to anybody now the question arises is what if the signature certificate is lost these signature certificates are password protected and cannot be copied from a digitally signed document <clears throat> now a taxpayer or a common man gets confused if you look at it like if you look at it what are the components that is used in signing a doc a document when you procure a, you now i assume that you have procured a digital signature certificate from one of the certifying authorities and it, what it happened is one of my friends he he purchased a dongle and then he applied the dongle on his desktop and he was not able to use it the dongle itself was not being recognized by the computer so he called one of the person and then he was able to find out there is something called a device driver now the device driver is a software program which has to be installed so that the operating that you are attaching to the desktop or your laptop now you also need a browser so that you can sign the application you also need to download the em signer that is the current version 2.6 that we are using on the portal you have to download it from the gst common portal and install it on your laptop or the desktop on which you have to sign it the em signer acts as a bridge between the gst application software and the dongle and also it creates a secu secure tunnel so that the signed information from your dongle is gets transferred to the gst application you also need the certificate work the following are the steps to install the digital signature certificate or the em signer for downloading and installing the web installer you have to perform the following steps download the web socket installer from the dsc registration page double click on the em signer executable file the em signer setup assistant wizard will get displayed you have to click on the next button then to install the em signer in the default folder created under the program click on the next button the em setup page is displayed click the install button to begin the installation process at the end click on the finish button to exit the setup wizard now if you look at the em signer you have open you have open file location you have totize svn run as administrator so here you have to run the em signer in run as administrator mode so once you run the em signer in run as administrator mode a message indicating the start of the em signer service is displayed click on the okay button on successful setup of the digital signature a signer window will be displayed so you will be you can see that the server configured on port 1585 congrats em signers started successfully now once you have started the em signer you have to go and register the 
digital signature certificate on the GST portal. Now the question is, as per the registration and the return rules, the following category of taxpayer has been mandated to sign the registration or the return compliance forms using the digital signature certificate. It's or a public sector undertaking. All these types of undertaking are supposed, are mandatorily supposed to use digital signature. In order to register the DST, the digital signature certificate at the GST portal, you have to perform the following steps. You have to go to the new registration, select the temporary reference number. Once you give the temporary reference number, you have to enter the TR in the temporary rem reference number and then click on the proceed button. You can see that the, the screen where you have to enter the temporary reference number. Then an email, then an OTP will come on your mobile and, your, and on your email, which is valid for 10 minutes. You have to enter the OTP and then click on proceed. Or alternatively, you can go to the user services register update DSC command. In case of existing registration, log into the GST portal with valid credentials. Go to the My Profile link, click on register update DSC link. The registered digital signature certificate page will be displayed of the authorized signatory drop down. Select the PAN of the authorized signatory that you want to register. Select that I have downloaded and installed the EM signer checkbox. Click on the proceed button after selecting the authorized signatory. Then a dialog box will appear, which has the contents to sign. So this dialog box, in order for this dialog box to appear, you need the Java applet. So Java applet runtime version has to be installed in order for this component to render. Select the, the, the name of the person and click on sign. Once you sign, you will be asked to enter your private key. After you enter your private key, your DSC will be successfully registered at the GST portal. Now I would like to show you a small video of registering the DSC at the GST portal. Yeah. There's no sound. installing the oh. sign a plugin make sure that you have installed the DSC on your computer as per steps given by the DSC issuing authority. Once the DSC is installed, it will become available for registering with the GST portal and linking it with the respective authorized signatory configured in your GST profile.
To do that, start by logging in to the GST portal and ensure that the dashboard screen is displayed. Click the downward arrow besides your username to open the profile menu and select the register or update DSC option. From the next screen that appears, open the drop down list to select the PAN of the authorized signatory for whom you wish to register the DSC. Select the desired authorized signatory from the list. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll select installed the DSC on your computer as per steps given by the DSC issuing authority. Once the DSC is installed, it will become available for registering with the GST portal and linking it with the respective authorized signatory configured in your GST profile. To do that, start by logging in to the GST portal and ensure that the dashboard screen is displayed. Click the downward arrow besides your username to open the profile menu and select the register or update DSC option. From the next screen that appears, open the drop down list to select the PAN of the authorized signatory for whom you wish to register the DSC. Select the desired authorized signatory from the list. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll select Aurora T. Raj. Next, check the box to confirm that you have downloaded and installed the MSigner plugin on your computer and click the Proceed button to continue. The MSigner window will pop up displaying the list of DSCs that you have installed. Assuming that the DSC of Aurora T. Raj is already installed, it will show up in the list as displayed. And associated with the selected DSC against the pan of the authorized signatory that was selected from the list. If both PAN matches, the system will display a confirmation message indicating that the selected DSC has been successfully registered. Aurora T. Raj can now use his DSC in the GST portal. It's that simple. Thank you for watching this uh, small clip on how to register the DSC. The next step will be in case you want to re-register the DSC or update it, the followings are the step to update the digital signature certificate at the GST portal. You have to go to the gst.gov.in, the GST portal website. You have to log in with the valid credentials. 
go to my profile link, click on the register update DSC link certificate, and then click on the update button. Okay, now then you have to click on the continue button. Once you click on the continue button, you have to select the, you have to select the sign button, enter your pri private key, and then you can register, and then your DSC will be registered successfully. I will also show you a small clip on the updation of the digital signature certificate. To update a DSC, you need to first acquire a new and valid DSC and install it on your computer. Assuming that you have already installed the MSigner plugin and a valid DSC. To update a DSC, you need to first acquire a new and valid DSC and install it on your computer. Assuming that you have already installed the MSigner plugin and a valid DSC on your computer, start by logging in to the of the authorized signatory for whom you wish to update the DSC. Select the desired authorized signatory from the list. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll select Aurora T. Raj. Since this user already has an old DSC registered in the system, the portal will detect that and show the option to either view the certificate or to update it. Go ahead and click the update button. Click continue and select the newly installed DSC from the list that appears in the MSigner window. Assuming that a new DSC of Aurora T. Raj is already installed, I'll select it here and click the sign button. Remember, the GST portal will validate the PAN associated with the selected DSC against the PAN of the authorized signatory that was selected from the list. If both PAN matches, the system will display a confirmation message indicating that the selected DSC has been successfully updated. Aurora T. Raj can now continue to use his DSC in the GST portal. It's that simple. Thank you for listening to the updation of the, to the small clip for the updation of the digital signature certificate. Uh, I have already explained or told you about the digital signature certificate. Why do you need a digital signature certificate? How do you go to the GST portal to register a digital signature certificate? How do you update a digital signature certificate? The last part of the journey to the explaining about the digital signature certificate is what if you land up into errors? What if you are facing errors in registering the digital signature certificate? or applying the digital signature certificate in, in the registration or the plugin to the token and click on proceed to proceed and signing. What should you do? Now, if you look at the digital signature certificate that you have procured, there are two components to the digital signature certificate. It, it has an encryption certificate and it also has a signature certificate. So what happens is when you run the EM signer and when you are trying to sign the enter the private key and submit the 
encryption certificates get the priority and when the encryption certificate gets the priority your digital signature certificate is missing so now what we have to do is we have to go to the certificate tab you have to go to the internet options go to the content tab click on the certificate button click on the <clears throat> view usage button and if you look at the key usage as key encipherment so you have to remove that certificate from your browser the second issue that you may face is what if i am facing a pan number verification failed what do i do if you are facing this error you need to check the pan details in in your in the dse you can only apply or use the dse of the authorized signatory and if the digital signature is registered on the gst portal so this is the error message that you get the pan number verification failed please select the valid certificate to sign what if if you are getting the if you are facing the error fail to establish connection to the server kindly restart the em signer so there are two common issues that this error comes up if you are not starting the em signer in the administrator mode or the em signer is not able to find the desired port so what happens is the em signer starts up a new port like the 1585 in order to have a secure tunnel between your dongle and the applications the fourth category of error that you may get is the applet where the contents of the em signer is displayed to come up so if you have not installed the java runtime environment you have to go to the uh, 1.6 java runtime environment and install the plugin what if if you are getting the error selected certificate certificate to sign you have to approach your vendor to procure a pan based class 2 or a class 3 digital signature certificate and also register it at the gst common portal if you are facing the error the sixth category of error is if you are trying to attach the digital signature certificate and the digital signature certificate is not registered at the gst portal it will give you an error message the dsc you are trying to fix is not registered at the gst portal you have to go and update or register your digital signature certificate at the gst portal the most common issue that people face is the installation or the running of the em signer when you run the em signer most of the time the em signer does not get the 1585 port in order to establish a secure tunnel between the dongle and the browser so in that case you have to go and add the the port number that is the https 127.0.0.1 1581 as an exception to your browser and the last category that is also frequently found by the taxpayers is that they have two versions of em signer installed on their computer so you have to remove all the previous versions of em signer that has been installed so you have to go and remove the like in this likewise shown in this slide the 1.2.0 version of the em signer this slide shows how to add the security exception to your browser you have to go and add this as an exception at the end i would like to give you three tips about 
the issues faced in signing the administrator mode verify that you have added the exception for the 127.0.0.1585 port delete the key and cipherment certificate by going to the tools internet options content certificate select the certificate key usage and delete the key and cipherment we also have a tax payer education help desk that is the education on the gst portal to master trainers trainers and the cbc and states you can write to us <clears throat> at helpdesk at the rate gst.gov.in most of the important informations about the return help is available at gst.gov.in help returns and also about the offline tool the gst.gov.help offline utility you can also download the <coughs> offline utility for filling the compliance requirement for gstr1 using the url gst.gov.in download returns in case of any issues you can contact as the help desk number 0120 4888999 or write to us at help desk at the rate gst.gov.in we also have shortal social media channels of gstn these channels are extensively used by gstn to assess taxpayers and other stakeholders we keep regularly looking at the twitter handle ask gst tech and keep answering to the questions raised by the taxpayers and also we have the youtube channels and the facebook these are the facebook uh, url you can go to the facebook.com gst systems india or youtube channel ucf and uh, or to the twitter account twitter.com arts gst tech some questions take some questions sir yeah. um, thank you where the questions here ha ki me whatever yeah Okay, I will take some questions. I have managed to file GSTR three B for the month of July and August without any issue. What's the reason and how to file GSTR one for July month? Please clarify. the issue that you have raised is not related to gstr1 filing or it is not related to gstr1 digital signature certificate this issue is occurring for few of the taxpayers and when you sign the gstr1 return document it is giving you access denied error it is something to do with the programming error which we are looking and we will fix it the second question whether i can include one more authorized signatory now in gst to use that sir, word answer only the gst related questions okay yeah, got it so whether i can include one or more authorized signatory now in gst to use person dsc so, <coughs> yes yes you you can always include more than one authorized signatory to file the compliance requirements third question is one dst which is registered as a gst can't be used to another b gst who who is same authorized signatory for both business yes okay. you want to take that ranjit yes then they can use it i don't see any issue issue isn't yeah. it yeah. em signer does not work on my computer i have tried on mac and pc i have tried i and chrome if you look at the current version of em signer 2. Six. It works on all the platforms. Can I use DSC into Mac system? At present, we have not supported DSC. Presently, presently we have not. 
we have to look at the em signer version and present version of the em signer is not uh, the present version of the em signer is not compatible with mac yes it says fail to establish connecting to the server kindly restart the em signer restarting does not solve the issue what i would say is okay in this case whatever i explained to you is it is not getting the 1585 port so the url that i mentioned in the plans documents fail to establish connection to em signer kindly restart what is this <coughs> it is the same question uh, okay abhishek mishra it is a <clears throat> it is the same question as that of shorab jain you are not able to get the 1585 port so once you get the 1585 because <clears throat> in order the em signer establishes a secure tunnel to your dongle it is not able to get that port in order to secure that connection and so that it can exchange the certificates when i file gstr1 from the internet explorer the message is displayed access denied and when i do the same through in google it goes next page and select the file with dse but i am unable to sign the return this is the same form this is not a digital signature issue this is to do with the gstr1 code my em signer has started successfully still i receive message to restart it i am unable to attach my dse <clears throat> if you are unable to attach your dsc there are two reasons for it your em signer has not started successfully or not able to get the port or the device driver that <clears throat> that is used by your operating system to recognize your dongle is not installed if by mistake we have paid amount as interest can it be adjusted next one towards the payment of gst mm -hmm. This is there. this is not related to the digital signature certificate, and I would not take this question. I'll just read first. If it is related, then answer. Okay. I have update a DSC prime. I have a update in prime is DSC primary number. Primary price. That's okay. He can go always go and register a DSC. I have registered DSC successfully and got message when I try to file return. using it takes ages to process and finally i had to abort using evc i file the return no there is either one of the steps like you have to follow the troubleshooting steps in order to sign the digital signature certificate to sign the gstr1 successfully while registering dsc error is shown in port level i check another systems also please help need to help in dsc proper operation need there are so there are so many uh, youtube's help available to let you sign your application successfully and also this webinar will help you in signing your application successfully where we have included about 7 tips to sign the application successfully how to change in dsc primary dsc name because of employee has left and updated this is not related to dsc and i would not like to take this question i am unable to file my gstr1 return for the month of july what should i do now i am using windows 8 internet explorer 1 11 please grant me solution if even if i change my password see this is not related to dsc when i am submitting a okay read silently and then take okay. yeah. got it i got the message like fail to establish connection to the em signer kindly restart the em signer click to troubleshoot how to resolve this now if you have got failed to establish the connection it is clear that the em signer is not getting the port 
Subhash Sharma ji. You have to go and add the, the URL that I mentioned, add an exception. Once you go and add the URL as an exception, your EM signer will start successfully. <clears throat> no, I am getting error while registering DSC. There is message showing you have no submissions. No. Uh, can you, because this error does not look relevant to me, because even if you have no submissions and you have filled in the part B of your form and the authorized uh, signatory details, you should be able to go and register your DSC. The question that has been asked by Ranganathan Morley is, I read the question, it is clear that you have to add the URL as an exception. Able to sign your application. How to add exception to port 1585? Okay, I, I will show that, is it, how to, because it is already mentioned in this step by step that you go and type the URL at the browser. Once you go and type the URL, if the you, browser does not recognize that URL, it will itself give you that it is not secure. You add it as an exception and you go and click on the add exception button and you will be able to do it. Is DSC mandated for proprietary firms? So this is a functional question. Okay. So I've answered more, I've taken most of the questions. The next step would be I would like to show them. I would like to sign an application and then show them. Yes, please. Uh, that would be the last step. I would like to log in here. How do I log in here? No, it's... I have to log in, log out from here and then... And then yeah, log out. Oh. Yeah. Uh, can you minimize this? Can you just minimize this? Yeah. Yes, coming up. I have filled in my registration form. I will go to the verification tab. Click here. Select the authorized signatory. Places Delhi. Submit with DSE. Oh. Oh. Unable to connect to the installed EM signer. Please took other application. So let me see whether my DSA, my EM sign is running. 
I will go and run my EM signer. I will run the EM signer in administrator board. Yeah, you can see that the EM signer has started successfully. Let me open the EM signer. Yeah, it has got the port 1585. Then I go to my application, submit with DSE again. <clears throat> Looks like it got the port. Yes. Now you just select the certificate sign. Enter your private key. And then enter. Yeah, wow, it's, uh, you can see that I have used the digital signature certificate to successfully sign the registration application. And also you can see that I did gave a valid error message. And after uh, I started the EM signer in the administrator mode, I was able to sign it successfully. Thank, thank you viewers. That's it. also on YouTube too. Before we sign off, I would like to show you how you can fetch the presentation and the webinar video from our KMS portal. I will be sharing my screen. Just give me a minute. So you have to open your internet browser. You could be using Internet Explorer, Mozilla, or Chrome. Once you have opened your browser, you have to type in KMS.NEGD.IN. 